Okay, so I graduated from Ronin this week. So this week has been quite intense and difficult, definitely some of the longest days coding I've done in quite a while. Well, ever, really. I don't think I've ever had spent as long coding as I have some days this week. Well, the intensity of the Makers Academy uh, final project experience caused one of our team members, MacBook Pro, to actually break down with a few days to go before the Friday. So <laughs> he had to go out and buy a new one. So that gives you an indication of how intense it is um, on our MacBooks, but also on us as, as um, junior developers. Okay, so in this week we wanted to have the code that we had written looking really good, so we wanted to have it refactored you know, as short and as concise as possible, but still doing everything we wanted it to do. Actually, um, this is on our repo, you can go see it for yourselves. We've got 99.2% test coverage um, according to coveralls um, of our controllers and our backend, so go check that out if you want. Um, I'm really proud of that, the whole team. Uh, pitched in to, to get that badge on the repo, so I'm really happy about that. Well, on Monday we started implementing one of the core features of our app, um, the Google Maps API, in order to display the routes, allowing the users to create, modify and delete uh, their own stops and getting the markers to update on the map. Um, that was uh, really stressful because otherwise, if we hadn't implemented it, we just have a blogging platform, so we couldn't actually differentiate our app with other competing products. We're trying to implement features that we didn't really know how to implement and trying to do it within the time frame was quite a challenge. It's also hard to, when you're set on having a feature that you want in your web app, to sort of put it aside when you realise you don't have the time and you should just focus on what you have and what you can make, you know, what you already have and what you can make good. It was quite a new experience for me and it was definitely Quite a lot of it was challenging, but it was very good to do. Welcome to our Ronin 2016 graduation. This is our fourth remote graduation at Makers Academy. This graduation here celebrates uh, the the final uh, last two weeks of the uh, the remote Ronin course. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to invite our first team uh, into the Hangout. Uh, that is a team of Godfrey, uh, Fraser and Barry. So they're going to be talking about their application called Road Tripper. Welcome to Road Tripper, a website for you to share your road trips with other people. Um, my name is Godfrey and I'll give you a quick demonstration of our web application. Now we're on the main page and we have a nice carousel of um, quotes and uh, nice images to inspire you to take your own road trips. And I can view um, some of the um, trending road tripper favourites. So for example I'll look on Baz's one, uh, LA to San Francisco and I can see which route he's taking. Uh, Google Maps API is all integrated and he's created several stops. Um, and I can add comments, so uh, fantastic. And uh, my comment has been added, so that's great. Our presentation on the whole went really well. Um, also, we finally got to see uh, the other projects that our uh, cohort had, uh, had, had been working on. It's an incredibly hard thing to tell. That's a gong in the background, sorry. We've, every time someone gets hired here, we have a gong that goes off. That's. Uh, Pretty exciting and almost looked blunted for the purpose of the live stream. Honestly, it's not. Let me pass you now over to the Recipedia team. Um, just quickly to introduce you again, Rebecca is another of our vloggers. She's been vlogging from Newcastle. Uh, that's far enough from London where I am uh, that it might as well be in another country. Okay, so welcome to Recipedia. So this story starts with a person who opens their fridge and looks inside and thinks, I need to do something with this ingredient that I have left over before it goes off or I have to throw it away. That was my, my real favourite was uh, was typing in like any list of ingredients and it would just narrow it down uh, doing some really smart matching. So uh, if I put in say sandwich and then if I put in by ingredients um, if I put in cheese bread that would come up um, yeah, we've got some really sophisticated recipes in it at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it was really interesting to see the different things everyone had done and the different things people had focused on and created. So, yeah, and then that was the graduation ceremony. 
it feels so strange to be coming at the end of Ronin. It feels like it's gone so fast. Like, I can't believe it was only 12 weeks ago. It's going to be strange to, ha you know, to not be doing it anymore, to not be getting up in the morning and coming down to start chatting with people on my computer. That's going to be really odd. But it also, it feels good because I feel like I've done so much. I've done, you know, I've learned so much. It feels really good that it, you know, like, that I finished it. Like, I've done it. That feels really good. Our coach Sam did talk about employers wanting to, um, wanting making students to have more battle scars um, from working in project environments, and I completely uh, believe that I've gained a lot of the battle scars, especially in the past six weeks. Um, I feel that I'm ready to start work again.